Hey, it's Mike Taylor. I'm the founder of VexPower. I'm just going to show you the new version. So if you log in to your account, uh, I've added a page here. Uh, I actually didn't have a page where you could go and see different simulators, uh, but now that's added, uh, there's also a link back to the main website, to the original demo, and then also an article on econometrics for marketing mix modeling to uh, teach you a little bit more about it. A few of you have asked. So if you go to 1.1, that's the latest version, uh, you can see I've added another chapter on dummy variables, and I'll show you what that means. Uh, so if you click start, and then, uh, you yeah, know, whatever call it whatever company you want uh, you can make as many of these as you like uh, and then it's gonna copy everything across and create a, a new company a new model um, and then uh, if you go to get started you can see I've changed this give me my email address here uh, as well as the calendar link to book with me if you need to uh, and then um, I've also made it so you can just click to download uh, the CSV uh, for uploading. Um, this is the format. Oh, actually, let me go back up. Uh, this is the format of data you need. So it's one row um, per date uh, and then one column um, per variable. Uh, so I've included this data, but it actually works with you know, any, any data that you upload as long as it's in that format. So just going to upload this and submit. Cool, and I've just added a bit of a timer here. So actually it's not connected to anything, but it just waits for five seconds. Uh, it's loading and then uh, that's just because sometimes it takes some time for a type form to get back to us uh, with the response. Uh, so then if you click on dummy variables uh, and then start, um, and then it tells you a little bit about dummy variables. Here it's pulled in the column names um, from, this, uh, from the CSV that we had here. Um, so. Uh, if you if you see, you know, I just said revenue, Facebook, affiliate TV, uh, and that's what it's pulled through. Um, and to make the dummy variables part work, you just need to click on date. Uh, that's the actual date um, that we're using in our spreadsheet. And it's actually going to go and then create like a, a one or a zero for you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So you can see any seasonality in your data. And this will work on your data as well, as long as it's in the same format. And uh, that's enabled by a new feature I built uh, basically to let me give you a CSV. So you can see here, you know, now, you know, before you could just upload CSVs, now I can actually give you one in return after processing the data. Um, so if we just go open this, you can see, cool. So you see here, it's created a day of week column. Uh, and then it's created dummy variables here for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, et cetera. So that's just the beginning. Hopefully it'll, it'll you know, show you a little bit more about uh, how I plan to do data cleaning and data processing, uh, feature engineering. Um, you know, this is a simple example, but there's much more coming. So uh, now let's pick our target variable. This is our Y variable. This is what we're trying to predict. I've added a bit more you know, of an explanation to each section here. Uh, to make it a little bit easier for people who don't know that much about marketing mixed modeling. Um, and then these are, you know, what we're actually going to put into the model. So uh, here, let's say Facebook spend, affiliate spend, TV spend, um, and then, you know, see if there's an effect you know, in, in the week. Cool. So submit. And now it's actually running the regression. And you can do as many of these as you like. Um, my type form responses <laughs> reset in a couple of days. Uh, so it should be fine. Uh, and then if you click get started on the last one, you can see we actually output the results of the regression. So you see here, actually output, you know, for the variables, the different variables that we had, uh, what are the coefficients and then what are the P values? Um, and I'll explain what that means. So if we go back, um, it talks about model accuracy, uh, tells you a little bit more about what you're looking for in terms of R squared. In this case, we had a 0.61 R squared, and you can read that to find out what that means. Um, and then it also explains what the coefficients are. Uh, so for example, you know, Facebook has 3.76, means like for every $1 in spend, uh, we made $3.76 back. And then this is a, a new thing that I just added. Uh, it gives you the p-values for the variables. So this is where you can tell whether you know you included the right variables, whether they're actually significant. If it's uh, below 0.05, uh, then it's statistically significant. 
Um, so a lot of the game is really just going back and forth, you know, choosing different variables. Um, so you can see here affiliates doesn't look significant at all, in which case we'd probably want to do another model um, and then drop affiliates from that model. Uh, same thing for Wednesday, it doesn't seem to have an effect Thursday, but Friday does seem to have an effect and Monday uh, as well. Tuesday, that might improve uh, when you drop some of these other less significant variables. Cool. So, um, you know, there's a link to that blog post again, my email address, my Calendly, uh, you know, appreciate any shout outs on social media, uh, you know, just working on this uh, by myself. So <laughs> encouragement uh, would be helpful, uh, you know, up late last night and, and uh, working all day here just to try and get the shipped. So, you know, thanks for all the support so far. Uh, you know, keep it coming.